And Terry Lorenzo is gone from Marvel Studios. What would this mean for not only the studios, but also Lucasfilm? Welcome back to Views with Hughes at Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you have done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification. So that way you've been notified of future uploads and updates. So now we see now that Victoria Alonso is gone. What will happen next? Be able to pay attention to the trades like Variety, Hollywood Reporter, so on and so forth when they go ahead and try to make a move to actually go ahead and find someone to fill her position, let alone her position was made up from the beginning as a way of trying to promote the company in a better spotlight. You know, this comes like almost over a decade ago with the release of the first Iron Man movie where some after that, well, Actually, before that, she was promoted into a certain position before the company started even making the Iron Man movie. This came in light of Louis Desposito, who is also the executive producer of Marvel Studios, actually um, helping her to bring her in as the co-executive producer spot. And then they um, give her a made up the made-up title, which she um, departed from, like the president or director of vfx or whatever it was okay but we see here like as i said yesterday as well as many people studied yesterday marvel phase four was a big flop you know and not to mention with this um fact that ant-man and the watch quantum mania did so poorly this is due to the reviews of the lackluster stories as well as the various woke elements featured in the films and disney plus shows these things are what deterred the fans from uh, watching any mcu movie post endgame okay now what has led to this the bob Iger um stepping back in taking over once again but continuing with the work of Bob Chapek, who is the now former CEO of Disney. Now, what does this um, aftermath also mean for various um, positions? Well, it's been stated that, you know, no one's safe at Disney anymore. That includes those who are the um, heads of the different major studios within Disney, such as Lucasfilm, even Pixar. Okay. But there's been lots of news and updates as well as scoops that's been reported overnight, such as the fact that according to uh, Disney, like different Disney sources, there's an order to, to an order to accelerate firings to the point where no one's safe from layoffs. OK, this may include places like ESPN, as well as um, possibly Lucasfilm with the departure of Kathleen Kennedy. Now, no one is actually safe. And from rumors, this includes Stephen A. Smith from ESPN, which is kind of disappointing because I love Stephen A. Smith. But with that being said, focus turning sh shifting over to Lucasfilm. Okay, there's many scoops and rumors out there stating that there's firings are coming, and then there's also different internal investigations within the show of the Acolyte. And with the fact that David Lindelof is finished. And there's a, also rumors where Thorne has possibly been cast already. But with the major Lucasfilm, inside the Lucasfilm story group, like even with human, along with human resources, then there's also the second unit filming group, all who believe that they will be asked, asked shortly, you know. But if... I were them, it's be, it'll be time for them to go ahead and update their resumes. But all of this wouldn't have happened if the woke elements weren't introduced into the different films and shows. And it wasn't approved under David, I mean, it's not David, Bob Iger. Okay. So it's just that Victoria, Victoria Alonso's firing at Marvel terrified a lot of people, even at Lucasfilm, where to the point, like I said, no one's safe. Now, the second unit crew would be afraid. Why would be afraid? That part's not really clear, but it may be the fact that they've been involved with the filming of the scenes of Leslie Headland's show, The Acolyte, or show. I put it in quotation marks because of the fact that we're not sure if it's going to actually see the light of day. But 
is perhaps is also about to be held accountable for participating with the fraud, which led to the investigation of the acolyte. The TV show that's supposed to be coming soon to Disney Plus. But it looks like it might be a criminal affair as soon as Disney launches an internal investigation. Right after it was reported that there was a fraud unraveling rapidly since Karen McCarthy sued the production. But it was reported before where Bob Iger, the current CEO of Disney, actually summoned Kathleen Kennedy for a face-to-face meeting. <clears throat> now, for legal reasons, Karen McCarthy was told not to appear to that, but it stated that Iger tried to arrange um for Karen McCarthy herself to be president for it. Okay? And it's like... Karen McCarthy actually declined that, like I just said, for legal reasons. But there's also big, big excuse me, bigger news where the, the Disney accounting is actually starting to audit Lucasfilm accounting as a result of the Acolyte show. Well, it states here that, you know, Le- Leslie um, Helen thought she was, like, really clever to, um, like, This is actually crazy here because the fact that I'm I'm actually speechless like speechless speechless right now that a lot of this is happening all at once, but it's like many scoopers and who sent this to Karen Pasha, um stated that Helen's scheme is about to blow up and now the situation is going to be elevated into a formal audit. Okay, that could lead to people not only being fired but also being handed over to possible criminal charges. This is the first I've ever heard, and I've only been covering entertainment news for almost over a year. And with that said, it's like, why would you even go ahead and decide to go actually do something fraudulent when it comes to creating shows and content and other content? Like, why? Why? I wanna, I wanna know that. If you have any answers to that or any guesses, leave that in the comments below. But. States here that Damon Lindelof is also finished at Star Wars, where the leakers or scoopers revealed to Karen Pashaw that Damon Lindelof officially told that his fake Star Wars project is dead, which is why he and other fan media suddenly changed their tune to drop their facade that this movie would ever get made. Even I knew that was 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 false because of the fact that it was fake and it was trying to save face. Now, what will this mean for? The um movie that was rumored to have Dave um Daisy really to return, who knows? But my thing is, many people have also stated that a lot of this is about to go ahead and come down to the point where Disney's losing a lot of money and lots of people being fired. Okay, and these are those who are in the creative story groups as well as executives, but. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. What do you think will happen further down the line with Lucasfilm as well as Pixar, even with Marvel Studios? Okay, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what went wrong in the video. Also, be sure to like the video, smash the like button, and share far and wide across social media if you can to that way to get the word out there further. Also, if you enjoyed all the content I put out there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.